The following podcast may contain spoilers, strong language, graphic violence, and nudity. Viewer discretion is advised. It's the Sock Zone. Sock Zone. Four guys and a movie. Four guys and a movie. Don't I, Brian Robert, you're reviewing movies for the show. Four guys and a movie. What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to the Four Guys in a Movie podcast, the podcast where we watch movies and talk about them. My name is Rob A. I'm your host today. Starting at my left, we have... Brian. Will. Tony. Joe. And today is a very special episode because it's our very first Patreon-sponsored episode. Woo! Yay. Yes. From our very first Patreon's patron. Patron. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to say sponsor. So... <clears throat> Uh, this is from Sharon, not my wife, uh, who says this. Hello, podcast guys. I've been listening <laughs> to your podcast from the confines of my cubicle for a few months now and wanted to let you know you are all doing a fantastic job. Thank you. Thank you, Sharon. Thanks. Thanks, Sharon. As a way to say thank you for saving my sanity, I would like to sponsor an episode. Aww. And I would like to say, you're welcome. Please accept. <laughs> <laughs> Please review. No one's going to get that. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> Please review 1996's twister i decided to go with my middle slash high school favorite movie mm. i actually memorized the lines what lines? Not had, hard. <laughs> <laughs> had a poster had the novelization and even had the soundtrack <laughs> i only listened to Val and Han- van halen's humans being why was i a super fan well i wanted to be a storm chaser when i was little like all other little girls of course sadly i grew up to become an accountant this movie still holds a special place in my art and i can't wait to hear you tear it apart with many thanks, Sharon. Cool. There's still so, time for you to go talk to your ex and get talked into becoming a storm chaser <clears throat> for life? I mean, yeah. Never say never. <laughs> so, um, do we have any kind of history on this movie? Uh, yeah. Do we want to get into personal history? Well, or? I, I saw it in high school. Yeah. But, like, on TV. Mm-hmm. Not, and I remember thinking it was all right. But, like, that was during the same time. Did the TV show Storm Chaser come out around then, too? It was big then. That was the thing. Like, wait, that really? probably came out shortly after. Shortly after probably this. inspired by... Yeah, like, Storm Chaser yeah. was a thing around this time. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, this kind of kicked off a whole round of, like... Disaster. Disaster and... movies, yeah. I feel like Independence... I thought Independence Day came out before this. They're both in the same year. Yeah, and, it's the same year, so it might have been earlier that year, mm-hmm. but... But this felt like such a reaction to Independence Day. Uh, this is, like, like the the harbingers of the disaster movie oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, era it was either tnt or tbs but it was on a lot mm-hmm. yeah. so on TV. what you're saying is we have this to blame for geostorm uh, yeah, oh, yeah yeah pretty much oh. i saw this in high school yeah i saw like, it in high school during class like i think it was you know the end of the like school year or something, class or, or something no not even science oh, okay. class just like a <laughs> i have... don't want to deal with you anymore <laughs> yeah <laughs> pretty <laughs> much like a i'm gonna put on this movie and go shoot up in the bathroom or whatever and <laughs> you just all watch this uh i i'm pretty sure i saw this in theaters this <laughs> might have been another one of those that shitty friend <laughs> I don't want to call him a shitty friend, but he's a great friend. friend. That friend who, In quotes. That friend who, uh, you know, to his birthday was spent with uh, us going to the movies and great seeing friend. some uh, shitty interesting birthdays. choices. Yeah. Are you going to put the cream egg in the middle of the Smorio? <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. Oh, okay. I don't hate myself that much. <laughs> like, borderline, but not that much. Yeah, I think this was 1996. I was 16. And this was firmly in that, like, I remember this summer, there was Independence Day, this, and one other movie that I can't remember that I saw in the theater, left the theater thinking was a good movie, and by the time I got home, <laughs> hated it. Dragonheart? Small Soldiers? <laughs> it was not Dragonheart. <laughs> Armageddon? No. Um, Armageddon I hated before, before I was before even the out of the theater, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm not sure. But either way, yeah. Uh, I remember leaving the theater like, all right, and then my brain yeah. started <laughs> analyzing what, what I happened. just saw. And yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. yeah. After your brain woke up from a long yeah. nap. <laughs> that was me for the prequels. Star Wars mm. prequels, the first one. Right. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yep. yeah. I saw it like three times before my brain was like, wait me a minute. Too. No, really? that, <laughs> oh, really? that, that, that took... 
That took a little while. Like, wow. denial was powerful yeah, on that was. one. Like, I, I refuse to accept that that no, sucks. That was, that was I, instantaneous for me. Yeah. yeah, I knew pretty quickly. Like, I, I was still, like, a Star Wars fan enough to be like, no, no, that, it wasn't <laughs> yeah, denial. Really bad. I think that's, but, like, immediately I was like, well, fuck Jar Jar and all yeah, that. Oh, no, that was immediately, but, like, it was, it, there was, like, uh, well, lightsaber fights. Yeah, like, we were Darth focusing Maul, so much on the positives, yeah. like Darth yes. Maul and all that. I was I was like eight or nine, and so I was like, "This fucking rocks." <laughs> no, I like I think, and part of it I think is because I'm not really a Star Wars fan. Sure. Um, sorry, everybody. Well, but you. honestly, I keep remembering back, and I was like, "Well, I guess the part where Qui Gon like drops down from that big height." That's kind of cool, I guess. The ventilation in the first yeah, like, like five the first minutes. five minutes before he gets to those racist <laughs> freaking Mandarin aliens. No, I'm sure you were with me, just going like, "I'm gonna get that soundtrack, play Duel of the Fates, and pretend like the rest of the movie mm-hmm. never happened." That's pretty much what. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway, back to this movie. Mm. All <laughs> right. So this movie is a hot, hot mess in the making. What? Um, oh. Yeah. How, how many producers? How many directors? <laughs> Well, how many scripts? <laughs> it was given to the idea was given to Amblin M- Entertainment, uh, who gave it to Steven Spielberg, who handed it off to Michael Crichton, who wrote the first draft. Um, several hands touched it after that, including at one point Josh Whedon. Oh, or, which is why that one dude that everybody liked died. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, sure, <laughs> Pro- actually, probably. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm calling it now. Wait, wait, <laughs> and the thing through the windshield, yeah, to the drive, yeah, the pilot, to wash, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. He was oh, a leaf in the him. wind, Brian. Oh, a leaf in the sore. wind. <laughs> Joss Whedon, I don't like you. Oh. But, um... Official. Joss Whedon, I love you. Official. I don't I like you. see that coming. Like, yeah. Oh, oh and <laughs> I Sorry, I uh, we're getting all discombobulated here. Uh, we did mention this was Twister first of all, right? Or, uh-huh. yeah. um, we did, yes. But it's directed by John DeBont, or Jan DeBont. Jan DeBont. Wait, that means familiar. Oh yeah, it oh. should be speed, speed right? two, speed, speed cruise two, control, okay. the haunting, okay, <laughs> RV and Laura Croft, the Tomb Raider. Welcome back, Jan. I'm sorry, the Cradle of Life, or in the case of Twister, should I say, Yawn. Um, but uh, um, guess what else he was working on before he did this? Uh, An aneurysm. A oh, one little movie called Godzilla. Oh. oh. So that got handed off to Roland Emmerich. Roland Emmerich, right? Wait, Godzilla yeah. was the one with with Roderick Matthew Roderick. Matthew Roderick. Okay, have we not done that one yet? No. Oh, okay. I mean, we do it every episode. Kind of. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Some of us try. It's been it a up. while. We've not mentioned that in a while. <laughs> no. <now. laughs> yeah. That was like last season. And eventually, we're gonna do that episode, and we're gonna say what it's about, and nobody's gonna care. Yeah, nobody. <laughs> not a care. single person. Oh, I think even when we do the episode, we should never mention it. Just keep the mystery alive. <laughs> Um, but yeah, apparently he was working on that, but it got way too over budget, so he got pissed off and walked mm. away. So he decided to do a Twister, and the fun began. Uh, <laughs> he had uh, a bunch of issues with like the oh the, the writing continued up until the point where they started shooting. Mm. Always a good sign. I, a great sign. I do not believe that it stopped there. Um, the camera crew apparently felt he was out of control. Five weeks into it, he got so upset at, like, a, a camera assistant that screwed up that he pushed him down, so the whole camera crew left. Nice. Oh, wow. good yeah. for mm. you. Big man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, during Halfway through filming this, Helen Hunt and uh, Bill Paxton got blinded because they oh. had to use bright lights to kind of uh, do uh, an over... Um... Make pretend that they were outside. <laughs> no, well, I think they were outside. Maybe they weren't, but... um. They, they, no, they were because they just the it was skies it was an overcast dark. day and they had yeah. to they had to light them. Well, no, the problem was it wasn't overcast. They wanted it to look darker, so they had to darken the film. So oh, that's to right. Compensate. Mm-hmm. They had to add extra lights to them, so they pretty much fried their eyeballs for a while and <laughs> gave them problems that they had to deal with, uh, including when they were hiding under that little bridge or whatever. They were in some muck, which uh, apparently had a bunch of bacteria in it. Oh. So they had to get hepatitis shots afterwards. Uh, also, due to long days of shooting, Helen Hunt apparently continuously was getting up too quickly and smacked her head on the boards. Uh, she also had an issue where at first she tried the stunt at the end where they opened the doors in the truck, but she slipped or something and like let go of the doors. So the door came back and smashed her in the face. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. She may have gotten a concussion. We're not sure. And put a cob of corn in her mouth and ears like a cartoon character. Possibly. Um, other things, uh, as you know, uh, this tornado tends to roar. That was a camel's roar slowed down and played backwards. A camel. It legit goes roar. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 The movie, like, because uh, why wouldn't it? Uh, I mean, we also, because. Ha- we also have a little returning guest here because apparently that cow was just a zebra from Jumanji that they reskinned. Wow. You guys can't see my face right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they can feel locked. it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like I died the death of a thousand cuts. But uh, other fun notes are things like um, other people that were thought for the main lead in this were Tom Hanks, Kevin Costner, Richard Gere, John Travolta, Mel Gibson, and Dennis Quaid. All potential <laughs> okay. uh, people. Costner it... and Quaid kind of fit for this movie. Yeah, yeah, they do. They do fit with the pacing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, though, Bill Paxton and uh, Laura Dern was considered for oh, the role. Of Laura Joe. Dern could have worked. Yeah. Which is kind of funny because James Cameron suggested Bill Paxton, and he originally, at one point, was going to do Jurassic Park, and he was going to hire Bill Paxton as Ian Malcolm and Helen Hunt. <laughs> <In the Lord, laughs> uh, Rob almost died. Ellie. He almost choked to death. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. That's fun to watch. I mean, oh, I'm glad you're okay. Yeah. You know, James Cameron has brought us some beautiful things. I do not trust his hands like Avatar. on Jurassic Park. Hmm? Like Avatar? <laughs> yeah, like Avatar. <laughs> no, I think I think he'd do great with Jurassic Park. I, I think he would have. I mean, nothing yeah. against the one we got. But... Well, we'll have to wait and see what uh, Terminator Dark Fate turns out like, and then mm-hmm. we'll decide. <clears throat> you know what? At this point, give him one of the Jurassic Parks, because sure. it can't get worse. Yeah. That's true. That well, it sounds like a ball. challenge. Yeah. Yeah. It'll take him like 10 years to film it, too. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> Hey, everybody. Uh, Avatar 2's coming out. Yeah, you can't accuse the dude of not trying. Uh, he might no. actually clone dinosaurs. Yeah. Have, have like, like don't yeah. get me wrong. I love James Cameron's work, some of it. <laughs> Just some of it I don't so much. That's fine. What, what, what don't you like from James Cameron? Most of the recent stuff. What's like the recent stuff? I don't know. I don't remember. Is it Titanic? Is that your problem? I don't care about it. I've never seen recent. Titanic, so I can't judge based on that. Really? I, I, no, I've never. Okay. Yeah. That came out when I was, what, 18, 19, 17, 16? Yeah, no. <laughs> a number with teen after it? I didn't care about that. Well, I figured one of your exes might have dra- dragged it to it yeah. or something like that. No. Okay. I was uh, unattached. Okay. While that was in the... Free in the wind. Speaking of free in the wind, there is famously a cut floating around <clears throat> of this movie. Brain and brain. Philip Seymour Hoffman's balls. Are you oh. serious? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, where would they be fucking out? Like, what, what, what? Uh, so there's a scene where he's like, I think it's at Aunt Meg's house. Yeah, I couldn't tell. Of course, like, that's when his balls come yeah. out. I so, can't tell if it was then or earlier. Yeah, it doesn't matter. But he he's like, he's on a like a, a sun chair or something, a beach chair, and he's wearing shorts. And he's just got his legs up in the air and he's hanging, well, yeah. hanging brain. Well, no, it's not like he's just got his leg up for all to see it, but he lifts his leg for a moment. And it, so it's just there for, the, you know, a brief period of time. There are points in this movie where, where we were pretty sure his character has dick out. No, <laughs> no he, just, he just straight up pulls a basic yeah. instinct. I, maybe he intended this, I don't know, but... You didn't let me finish. Do you suck these, these balls? <laughs> I mean, he apparently was Smooth going to Smooth as man. eggs. <laughs> you uh, black out with your sack out. Sorry for party rocking. But uh, also, this movie has something of an urban legend now. Okay. Because in May uh, uh, 24th of 1996, this was supposed to play in a Niagara Falls theater, which, before it could get played, was destroyed by a hurricane or tornado mm-hmm. or whatever. Uh, so now people say this movie was playing and everyone, you know, just thought it was the movie or On May 24th? Oh, wow. Yes. It is today. Yeah. Oh. It's the anniversary of that day. Oh, oh shit, guys. Oh. It's been a windy today. Oh. <laughs> oh. It was windy. It was windy. Yeah. Mm. This is getting scary. Oh, no. It's all right. I got my belt. Yeah, yeah. pipe. We're good. There's We're some good. pipes in here yeah. somewhere. It's, it's true. I wouldn't worry too much. I'm just gonna claim that was the finger of God saying, "Don't watch this yeah. movie." So. As long as you're not in the street, the debris won't hit you. That's true. Oh, yeah. Just get in our car. Apparently, it's safe. Also, I want to point out for this movie, listeners, that don't ever try anything in this movie to get to to be safe from a tornado. No, I was just gonna tell them this will teach you the valuable lesson of always have a belt. Ugh. <laughs> 
You guys ran a train on to beat us today. I'm proud it's of y'all. Selection. Mm-hmm. I'm proud of y'all. Like, people should have died in this movie way more than actually died in this movie. Uh, you mean two? More than two? Yes. Well, and three. One being a flashback? <laughs> yeah. Wait, what's three? Oh, I guess Cariel was technically yeah. short. Yeah, that up. car blew up. Wait, yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, technically? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't count him because I don't even count him as a character. <laughs> Speaking of characters. She was like, to the pain. <laughs> 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 Who's in this movie, Joe? Oh, yeah, how was it? Well, they got a lady called Helen Hunt as Dr. Joe Harding. Uh, Bill Paxton as Bill Harding. Hmm. Uh, Carrie Elwes as Dr. Jonas Miller, what? and Philip Seymour Hoffman as Dustin Davis. What is up with Michael Crichton and Dr. Hardings? I don't know. What's his deal? Maybe there was one in his life that he just can't get over? Maybe. Or maybe he just sucks at naming people, so he's been copying mm. and pasting. Who Jurassic knows? Park 1, Dr. Harding. Jurassic Park 2, Sarah Harding. This know. movie. Shared all, universe? All them know. Hardings. Do you think so? Crichton. It's just a weird family. That MCU. Michael like Crichton a, universe. Uh, <laughs> some some content creators have things they like. Yeah, yeah. One of those white... All m- of the games I run start at a town called Stonewall. It's just one something that happens. White this gorillas. Yeah. Harding. Tanya Harding. Mm-hmm. What is that about, Joe? Oh, I just, it's tradition now. I just yeah. do it. It's called lazy writing. It is. Next one's it's gonna be like Rock Cliff the next one or something like that. Wall, <laughs> Wallstone. Mm-hmm. Wallstone. Yeah. Brown Pebble. I, I just didn't know if that was like Stonewall Jackson inspired or something. Nope. Okay. Oh, the wind's picking up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Here it comes. <laughs> All right, so. This movie. This movie. How do we start this movie? Starts with a flashback. And baby yeah. Helen Hunt. Yeah. Did you? Did anybody recognize her by the No. No, I did not. No. Yeah. This is the girl from Spy Kids. Well, that's uh, why I didn't recognize uh, her, because I'm a grown-ass adult and have never uh. seen Spy Kids. <laughs> 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 Wait, the girl that was um, <laughs> in I... Arrested Development? No. Okay. What? I thought she was Spy Kid. No, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's, it's you funny really... you should say that because you mentioned her name like many times. Girl from Rested Development. May Whitman. Her? Mm-hmm. Egg? <laughs> and also, are you really going to try and give me the I'm a grown ass adult? You went buying toys yesterday. <laughs> Not true. Two days ago. Collectibles. My bad. Oh. Sorry, uh, does anyone want to guess how much money this movie cost to make? Way oh. too much. So I'm going to guess $40 million. <clears throat> No, it was ninety six. Seventy million dollars. And just for Joe and continuity, I un- I took the cap off my bottle before I pour it in my ice water. Nice. Not on the mixer, please. <laughs> <laughs> I will guess eighty million dollars. Sixty million. One twenty. What was it? Seventy. Alright. It was ninety two million dollars. That's nice. way too much. Well done, Joe. Wanna guess how much it made? Four hundred and twenty million dollars. I'm gonna two, go two fifty. I'm going to say 300. 140 million dollars. 253 million dollars. <laughs> no will. Yes. All right. So, yeah. Whatever mm. with the spy kids. Uh it's baby Helen Hunt. <laughs> mm. Uh she is scared. Her it's... dad looked like Randy Travis is all I I, I thought her dad looked like Thomas Hayden Church mixed with Jim Varney. <laughs> I thought her dad looked like a dumbass for what he does <laughs> yeah. in the scene. Yes, also. Her dad was a dumbass. <laughs> Joe, come on. Come on, Joe. <laughs> you on. grab Joe. All right, I'll take Joe. No, so, you take Joe. So, and I didn't even realize they kept saying that, saying the name. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm just dumb. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm just dumb. No, you're not dumb, because it was all like... I mean, it's a dumb movie. It's so. all muddled and ridiculous. There's a hurricane. And, I mean, a tornado happening. Yeah, yeah. just mm-hmm. specify for our listeners. There's a camel screaming. About... I'm going to say three-fourths of the way through this. Three or four hours. Brian just goes, oh, that's the little girl from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> it was a four hour. <laughs> uh, I mean, we were at the drive-in. <laughs> yeah. You know. <laughs> I'm a dumbass, so you know. But this scene opens. I love you, Brian. There's, there's a, a, a tornado coming towards the house, and, like, they get into the, their, their, their tornado shelter, which... <laughs> Which, if you live in some place that gets them on a regular basis, you should have, yeah. or just don't live there. Rob, question. Yes. You lived in a place that had a tornado shelter very I, briefly. I did. Was the door held on simply by one slidey lock? <laughs> <laughs> like this and movie would lead us to believe. Honestly? I think it was. Uh, <laughs> okay. I can saw it. I, yeah, I can saw it. <laughs> I saw it. I can saw and it. And I can <laughs> confirm that it was held on by one slidey lock. And a whole lot of spider webs. That's true. Was it, was it deep enough where you could get hide in the back like they did, or no? Oh yeah, it was. I mean, okay, full stop. Never went down in there. All right, that's because, good though. That's because good. anytime I open the door, 
the sides of the stair well were moving. Like With just spiders. Co- I don't know what they were, a but they were, shelter. They were yes. awful. So I was like, "Yeah, I'll just die, I guess." Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because when it's tornado time and you open that, all those spiders are going to come whipping out yeah. at you. <laughs> there's not a, there's not a house within. 300 miles that has more than one story on it anyway. Mm. Uh, it's fine. Yeah. When he, when I went down there and he showed it to me, because I was like, oh, cool. You got a, you know, storm show. That's kind of awesome. He just went over and was like, yeah, but this is what's in there. Opened it and it's just covered in bugs. And he just went, never going in there. Closed it. <laughs> and it was never talked about again. Yep. It's like, that is dead to me. But it was just a deadbolt lock. Yeah. Mm. But like, that doesn't matter though, because like, the function of it is, you get far enough down, and it goes deep enough where the wind can't touch yeah, you. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you're just yeah. yeah, it doesn't matter. Like the door can actually be open; it doesn't matter because it can't. It's not, it's not Makes you immune to the back. suck zone. Yeah, uh, but her dad decides because the door is is ba- making a banging noise, it freaks him out. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna hold it, hold it shut. He's gonna be a hero. Don't worry, yeah. your daddy will take care of you. Well, he's gonna be like that guy who jumped on the umbrella at the airport and just <laughs> ascended <laughs> into the heavens. <laughs> not all fairness, though. That yeah. umbrella thing, like it, like my first reaction might be, well, you know, I'm, I'm, I should be heavy enough to hold yeah, it down. Like, you would think, yeah, it, 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 it ain't that big. <laughs> nope, that shit took him right the fuck away. <laughs> also, like that wasn't a tornado. Yeah. No, that was just wind. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, watching this, I said, like, if that is strong enough to rip this door off the hinges, you are not holding it. So yeah, just you ain't shit. Fuck it. Yeah. And sure enough. <laughs> I mean, it ripped the door apart. It pulled individual yeah. pieces off the door yeah. first, mm. and then just sucked the whole fucking thing up. Like, which I also like, he continued to hold on to it at that point. Like, yeah. like fucking move, you dumbass! <laughs> fucking, and, and they're all in the back of the shelter watching them, being safe and all. <laughs> like, I have expected like every oh little my. individual piece to go away till he just had the handle and just went, "Mother, <laughs> yeah. oh, guess I'm flying now." Oh, oh, gar- oh gosh, oh, gosh, yeah. <laughs> pull out that little sign that says, "Oh no." <laughs> So yeah, you're supposed to feel sad. You're just like, whatever, dumbass. <laughs> then um, we cut to... No, you're just like, oh, natural selection at work, yeah. I guess. Yeah. All right, good. Yeah. Oh, he already had kids. Oh, wow. <laughs> also, speaking of his kids, <clears throat> we're supposed to believe that this left her, like, utterly traumatized. But while watching it, she's just kind of looking out the window like, that's kind of pretty. Well. There goes daddy. Okay. I wasn't yeah. that good of a actress. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Maybe she is now, but... Yeah. She you know, got better. I'm sure. I'm sure she was better in Shark Girl or mm. Volcano Mountain lad. or whatever the hell. <laughs> Volcano Lad. <laughs> you mean Shark Boy and Lava Girl, Rob? I wouldn't know. So we wouldn't cut. No, it's good enough no. for Stallone. It's good enough for you. We cut to CGI. Oh, we of cut a to satellite. Cut to Beast Wars. That yeah, yeah would not even <laughs> oh, like. Brian's you could have just had a model. On on a string, they did have a model, <laughs> and it would have looked better movie. than the CGI. Yeah, like I was, I remember I'm looking at that. I'm just like, man, that was awful. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah, two pretty th- brutally awful. <laughs> two things that Brian. Well, I don't know okay, three things. First, we need to interrupt for fat chat. Apparently, oh, Brian's make a, a bad idea. Idea. <laughs> <laughs> Brian's make a Oreo <laughs> sandwich with a Cadbury cream egg. Such a bad bad idea, but possibly amazing. We'll find nah. out. Okay. So a couple things. One, apparently Jan de Bont said that one of the reasons he wanted to do this movie is he said seeing that uh, how quickly uh, things are going to CGI this is one of the last movies he could do with a lot of practical effects. <clears throat> <laughs> Again, you all can't see <laughs> yeah, the face I'm making right now. The face Rob is making. So, yeah, I don't understand why we get this horrible... As satellite. compared to what? Sky Captain in the World of Tomorrow? <laughs> Episode 1? <laughs> what uh, practical effects? Well, there were practical effects. The trucks? The, the trucks. The trucks were real, sure. The and people, I guess, were real for some of the part. It was real enough to harm, like, 90% of the cast. <laughs> so. that's, that's fair. You got me there. But, uh, also, like, yeah, there was, as I said, this whole production had so many bu- uh, budgeting issues. They also had a, a lot of problems with... Um, because they, you know, they couldn't make storms actually happen, so we shot a lot of things outside, and then they had to use a lot of digital effects to make it look stormy. So, I have a feeling, like, you can kind of tell throughout the movie where, like, the first couple CGI effects that they did, where they put all the time and money, and then the other ones that they just kind of slapped together with, you know, clip art and shit. 
Tony, what if we start referring to you as White Stormy? As a Black Stormy? <laughs> Stormy Daniels? <laughs> YC lab just popped into my head. So basically, we I just did say storm because of the effects. Yeah, <laughs> we just see there's like a tornado tracking facility that has their CGI satellite, and basically they just say, "Oh, there's going to be a lot of tornadoes soon." Like yeah. no shit. <clears throat> at some point, at Thanks. some time, like ten in one day, apparently. Yeah. 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 So right. they know that, but they don't know like when to warn people to get out of their fucking house. No, <laughs> they know that there's going to be ten tornadoes, but they don't know where or how or when. Yeah, basically the conditions are right for them to touch down, but they can't give a head big enough warning to yeah. like tell where it's going to touch down. Yeah. So just it's going to be fuck out of Oklahoma. now and they, now. No, they just have now. a little like little <laughs> little lottery ball popper that just yeah. pops up. Oh, 10, <laughs> 10 tornadoes today. Well, this is before you know the the after nine eleven like terror alert thing where there's just like it's green a terrorist attack may happen somewhere it's true yeah so they were like that would be ridiculous to just say there's going to be a tornado at a time (laughs) soon but here it is (laughs) yeah here we go so we uh now cut to a uh, bright red pickup truck driving through a field getting crop dusted um and inside this truck, we have uh, Bill Pull. I mean, Bill Paxton. Oh, Jesus. Oh, don't do that. Oh, here we go. Don't do that. Come on, man. Yeah. Bill Pull. Uh, oh, one of them is still alive. Yeah. And so it's we got not Bill Paxton and his fiance. And they ha- their characters have names, but I am do not going to call them. Because their names that. are Bill. Yeah. And Melissa? Marissa? Mel- Melissa. Yeah. Melissa, yeah. Like, I picked up from the movie that Helen Hunt was called Joe, but yeah. I got no, sen- no sense that this guy was anything other than Bill Paxton. No, because every second yeah. it's like, Bill! Bill! Yeah. Hey, Bill! 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 <laughs> Bill! Bill! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly, at one he point... He is a science guy. Yeah. <laughs> at one point... He's a weather man. <laughs> they do just like, if someone called him Bill, and I was just like, is that in the script, or did they forget? <laughs> they just couldn't... Be... <laughs> he had some other name, but they kept yeah, calling him Bill. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> just call me Bill. When I say Mr. Thompson, you say... <laughs> Billy <Hello>. Josiah. <laughs> So now they, um, yeah, they arrive and meet up with uh, their their old tornado chasing crew, Bill's old um, tornado studying team, and we meet a whole bunch of characters that we're supposed to care about, or we're supposed to say, "Are like, we? Oh, uh, this is a quirky tornado yeah. chasing team. Yeah. Like these They're are supposed eclectic. to be interesting characters. None of them are. No, nope, not a one." You just get like there's Cameron from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And yep. <clears throat> Philip Seymour Hoffman and who's playing all of the Ninja Turtles at once? I think. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, there's Pat from Saturday Night Live. That's that's <laughs> actually that's actually a good description of um of Philip Seymour Hoffman's character <laughs> playing mean, all, all of the Ninja, Ninja Turtles, Turtles at once, <laughs> mostly Michelangelo. Yeah, mostly. We also got what was it? Diff- discount uh, David Arquette. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Pat from Saturday Night Live. We had the human version of the troll face. That one guy. That, yeah. like, that one guy was like a human version of Beaker, mm. <laughs> or that <laughs> with the little fro. He's he's not the dude from the uh, Aaron Burr peanut butter commercial, is he? I think he was. Uh, it might have been him. Yeah, wow. I think that might have been him. I can't believe that you guys both got that reference. First of all, <laughs> oh boo, and, oh you know, boo. You know who brought us that? Was that for milk? Was that, that was a milk, milk? Yep. commercial? You know who directed it? The commercial. Oh, uh, yeah. Michael Bay. That was Michael Bay. Hmm. Well, yeah. yeah, one of his first works. How do you, Mr. How do you Bay, know this? can I just say it was go, all downhill from there? Go back to directing milk commercials. Yes, <laughs> he did such a good job. Then <laughs> it was great. I laughed. I cried. They had a plot that I could follow. CGI was good. <laughs> the effects were great. Oh, I remember a commercial now. He, he couldn't say it. Peanut yeah, he was like, he was calling in yeah. for a, like a, a, a yeah, contest thing. Yeah. He had like the bullet in front of him. Because uh, yeah. he's yeah. the one that shot him. Yeah. Well, no, he was in uh, a Hamilton museum I know. Yeah. or Aaron Burr museum or whatever. He was in Hamilton. Right. A museum. So anyway, so um, <laughs> this team, like they all do things. But other than Cameron from Ferris Bueller looking at maps, I can't tell you what <laughs> any of the rest of them he are really the there guy. for. Well, they just a... yell at each other? He was the yeah. GPS before that was in the yeah, We had uh, Cameron, <laughs> who was telling directions, and we had Dusty just because he was outgoing because yeah. he was all the Ninja Turtles. We'll call him the brick of the group. Yeah. He sure. did have a turtle van, you know? He did, he did yeah. have a turtle oh, wagon. Yeah, he did. But yeah, all the rest Shagging of them. Wagon. 
if they were taken out of this movie, no one would blink. Yeah, yeah. why did the team need to be that and big? Could, could we have seen one less tornado to maybe just get better introductions to them? No. And maybe just have a scene where they do something? But where Joe, maybe or, someone know, dies. The yeah. action, or lack thereof. The action. Mm-hmm. There's the guy that looked like Martin Mole that got hit yeah. in the head with a hubcap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. oh, yeah, we forgot <laughs> members. Because they just don't matter that yeah. much. They don't matter. No. Yeah. But that's the thing. Like, I'd be more okay if they were this faceless if we started killing some of them off to kind of <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. bring Nobody some dies. stakes yeah. in the ground. Dies. Yeah, no in one dies. A little. Yeah, All we right. jumped through like five friggin' giant tornadoes and nobody gets killed. So my first, so this, this scene basically sets up, uh, Bill and his, and the woman he came with, his new fiance, um, came to get divorce paper signed by Joe. I guess him and Joe were married at some point. And uh, he came down to get the paper signed so he could go about his life and marry his new wife and all, all kinds of bullshit, whatever, whatever. So my first thing is, like, why the fuck did you bring her? Yeah. Like, what, was that necessary? Like, did she make you come? Like, what, like, what? Yeah. What? Honestly, so here's my thought. I, think I don't think she made him come. My feeling is. Zing! <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, anyway. <laughs> So I think he brought her along because Helen Hunt is an asshole. And as soon as he gets there, he's like, you've had these papers since December. It doesn't say what time of year it is. I assume it's the summer. 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 It's you know, tornado season. So he's like, tornado. Oh, tornation. (laughs) What in tornation? By the way, we're all sick right now with like allergies and gunk in our throats. It's terrible. So. My Apologies for the off. constant coughing, but so he he brings his fiance because he's like this complete asshole has been just not all she has to do is sign five pages of paperwork and send it back to me. It's all she had to do. I'm bringing my fiance so that she can't rope me into this bullshit and she'll just sign it and let Wrong. me go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, round. Is she related to Michael Scott? <laughs> and she is. He had given her forewarning that he was coming. Joe knew yeah. he was coming. Yeah. But still didn't have, 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 have to fill out anyway. Well, that's so she can take her... Never mind. I will say, I I think this was addressed in the movie. We were probably just talking, so we didn't... No, I mean, Helen Hunt says, oh, I wanted you here because... No, I know that, Dorothy. but, like, she also <clears throat> says something like, why did you bring her? And he said something, but I didn't catch it. He said, because you're an asshole. I don't think that's what he said, but maybe. It's what my heart said. Uh, I'm sure <laughs> that I'm sure of. Yeah, he's an asshole too, but she's an asshole. Yeah, but I mean, he was at least they being civil. He's like, "We're separated. Well, Please just sign the papers." So no, I but he brought his fiance. She still had on the wedding ring. Movie. <clears throat> yeah, well, <laughs> at, after that point, when he got his little his little tornado boner. By the way, did anyone catch this wedding ring? <clears throat> yeah, she she, that, mo- that she was... moved her wedding ring to her other hand. Mm-hmm. Yes. with like a class ring, so I guess it wouldn't look as obvious that she still had it on. Was yeah, my she, thought. She put oh. Her, Okay. No, she, she put, put her, her class, class ring, ring over, over the wedding ring, so you could. Oh. So, yeah, she, she was still wearing her. her, her, her I her. totally was like, "Did he give her a class ring for a wedding ring?" I was just about no. to rant about that. It, it was just like, like like a plain band, so I'm guessing yeah. they, okay. they they probably got like no. married at a, at a you know marry you know, your wife, or whatever. marry your wife with a class ring is the type of person that would get super upset over which color Rumble is and which color Frenzy is. That's the type of person <laughs> that would give a <laughs> class ring. It's a wedding ring. <laughs> Tony's like, but I get upset over. I'm also trying to th- piece in my head which one of his wives did that. Mm. Um, <laughs> that was way too specific to be just out of nowhere. The fourth one. <laughs> you oh, were in the bathroom. You were in the bathroom for, 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 for that context. Oh, okay. <laughs> you were destroying the air quality of my apartment while we were <laughs> discussing. It's it my turn, all right? <laughs> Joe had last week. Yeah. <laughs> Brian, I'm pretty sure it was the week before. Uh, so, um, what the hell were we even talking about? Uh, okay, so yeah, so they're like, <laughs> <"Twins> <laughs> there. That's great. Uh, so, <laughs> every tornadoes. And shit. Yeah, what? Like, he's like, check it out. I made this thing, Dorothy. You know, it's like your life's work. I made finished it when you left, and it's just he's like a old... news weatherman now. Yeah, and they kind of he's kind of seem. A, s- s- they see him kind of as a sellout, right? A little bit. Yeah, that. Yeah, that's basically what they're trying to lay down. Like, oh wait, oh, sorry, I just figured something screen. out. He brought his wife. Yeah, it was Joe in the beginning of the movie. <laughs> she was a little girl. I'm so dumb. Twist, I'm so twisters are <laughs> another name for tornadoes. <laughs> <laughs> the poster made it look like friends to get people. No, um, the he brought his wife because she's a therapist. Black which people falling from the which sky Joe in New York. 
<laughs> which Joe needs because she is clearly still hung up on this dude. Mm. All right. Solved so it. I would have rather we drove around trying to put Dorothy in the path of a tornado and studied these characters and why the marriage fell apart and how the fiance fits in this, you know, get to meet some of these other people. But no, um, basically the, we get the whole premise of the movie here. You get Dorothy, it's a metal container full of these little spheres that measure things that get sucked up by a tornado. They have to put it in a tornado. That's the entire plot. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> that would be a good plot for a movie where the actual focus is on the characters and, you know, learning about them and stuff so that there's, this is just a reason why they're all together. <clears throat> no, literally the whole movie is just trying to put that fucking thing in a tornado. Which they have opportunity to do multiple times. Many times. In fact. And just the first don't. 10 minutes of the movie, they have a chance to do The first question I had, which I don't know why I didn't have the first time I saw this, you meet, you look at it. And you're like, all right, that's well and good. I'm willing to buy. You know, you put this in tornado, get sucked up. It has scientific value. How do you get it off the truck? Yeah. Like, you got all this money to make four of these things. Why don't you make three and make a system that gets it off the truck? <clears throat> or wh- why does it need to be in this giant metal canister? Well, that's what I'm saying. Why Why couldn't it just, like, open up at the bottom and dump them all off the back of just, the truck? Or it could just be like a bucket. Yeah. yeah. A bucket, like a t-shirt launcher. Well, here's the... <laughs> yeah. Just fire, like a Nerf gun. Just fire him into the yeah, tornado. From really far away. This is a big problem. And this might be because none of us are meteorologists. We don't mm-hmm. know That's how That's probably what it is. Hey, I have yeah. watched the Weather um, Channel before. <laughs> I, I think none of the writers were meteorologists True. either. But... I have a I, I rain was, app on my Because I, since, since the first time I saw this, this was a problem I had. And I think I find, I think I might know some of it, which is <laughs> these things need to be set off within the tornado. If it's just on the ground or whatever, they mm-hmm. will be on the outside of the tornado, and maybe that won't work as well. So they need to be inside something till it's fully entered the tornado. Yes. Mm. That okay. is my guess. Where that's in the, the tornado? Case, though, huh? Where in the tornado? In the sucks. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. But if, if that is the case, though, why is there still not a system to get it off of the truck quickly if yeah. the whole premise of this is it needs to be, like, you need to drive up, drop it, and get out real because quick. Because Yondavon said, lever. Yeah. Yondavon also, said, that's like uh, an ejector chair, and that would be stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Give me my growling tornado, please. Well, I think the real reason is because then this movie would be five minutes long and we wouldn't have anything. <laughs> that yes. But <laughs> so that's why you would be like, this script is maybe not the best idea. Also, why <laughs> do you need to like have this whole like nuclear code thing where you need to turn two keys at once or whatever to activate? <laughs> like, just fucking turn it on and push it in. Like, mm-hmm. we're done. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's yeah. like, if, Oh, I know that's getting cut out. The views and opinions of the four AM podcast. <laughs> I feel like if this was made now, it could just be like put it on a drone or something. You know? Yeah. Oh yeah. I yeah. don't even know what they learned about tornadoes at the end. But like, or they, they were still they trying to figure it out. Deploy this in the first five minutes. Learn something about the tornado, and then be like, I could stop it or something but, like or that. Or because Bill Paxton apparently can read the tornado's thoughts, which is a line in this movie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just put it on the ground somewhere that. They know the tornado is going to go. So maybe this is like a prequel to Geostorm where they figure out how to like control the weather. Oh my god. They have four of them. You can just put them in four different areas. Yeah. Yep. And that tornado should hit it. Yeah. One of them should get Mm -hmm. hit. If you, if if Helen Hunt, you think this tornado is after you so bad, just put it wherever you think you're going to be. It's after her. (laughs) It's sentient. So (laughs) strap it to your back and run. So not only is Bill Paxton like. Okay, I'm going to just not do what I told my fiance I'm going to do, and I'm going to go along for this first tornado that's coming up. I'm going to leave my fiance in the care of Dusty. Yes. I think the like the first thing he does after that is lick her face. Yeah. And yeah. he's he is holding her hand the entire time. He's, yeah, I'm like, he's trying to make something happen. The hell? Yeah. So, like c- can't she ride with anybody else? Like like the the um the dude that gets hit in the head with the hubcap like yeah. him or something. He's, he's all yeah, yeah, he's I don't him. I don't know what he did. He looks like he could use a buddy. Here's another the thing. What here's, was his role? Here's another thing though. That guy was kind of sketchy looking. Maybe there's a reason he only drives alone. Yeah. Well, he's they were lean. all sketchy looking. They but, were, but okay. like that's. I'm thinking if if Dusty put was her, the better option, God knows yeah. what that guy might have done. Put her with Pat and yeah, yeah, another guy. Dusty 
his name is Dusty, and it's not the name his parents gave him. So the parents, his parents weren't like hippies that gave him the name Dusty. That's the name they gave him. That's a name you give a gross person, Dusty. Yes. It's either that or Pigpen. Yeah, any action that he had throughout this entire movie was gross. Yeah, no, that's the kind of man that has a cloud following him. Yeah. My, my question is... So are you, Joe. Yeah. Why? Why? Would you take your fiance tornado chasing with you when she is not part of that? Because culture. And tornado culture. chasing gets your dick hard, right? It is specifically. He saw Dorothy, and yeah. he's like, "Yeah, I'm I'm three quarters of the way erect." <clears throat> because he is now an asshole. Like, why not be yeah. like, "Hey, babe, why don't you stay here where it's safe, and then I'm gonna go cause this, <laughs> with I'm, my ex-wife." I'm I'm training this. I'm pra- well practicing this, so I, I'm I'm bit better t- taking risks with the with the with situation. Well, where they were was a field, though, if I remember. Well, well here's the thing: <laughs> it, it, it's all bullshit. But um. At first, he doesn't immediately give him to Dusty. At first, they're driving together uh, because supposedly, since she left without signing, the oh, papers, that's so. right, she's driving the truck. Yeah, okay. But uh, like, okay. You, you like, do you think you're gonna chase them to a tornado and in the middle of it, she's gonna sign the paperwork? Like, you couldn't get her to sign it just here on her front yeah. porch or whatever. So just hang out there till she comes back. I mean, I don't know anything about divorce, but do you like? Does she need to actually sign this paper? Like, yes, I believe so. Yes, but I mean, it. But do you have to serve it to her though? Like, <laughs> no. Yeah, you could that, send it in the mail. That's what I'm saying. So, like, but if, that's the thing. He well, sent it in the mail. Yeah, yeah. she, she never already signed had it. it. He okay, was just like I need to make sure this gets done. Yeah, but then at that point, can't you go before a judge and be like, "Hey, you I have could, made." But the whole the whole plot that they tried to tell us were, yeah. was that he wanted to get married. To this new oh movie, yeah right like, there yeah all which, right never mind that may even be Redact. why they were together like maybe yeah. they were on their way to go get married somewhere yeah like, maybe they're passing through Oklahoma to go to Nevada and get married <laughs> in maybe. Vegas or some nonsense but Kansas City <laughs> anyway yeah but so yeah. Branson they, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, a tornado starts happening they take off he's like you didn't sign a paper so I'm chasing you right um they end up what missing it or something like that. Yeah. Some, I, I, don't, I don't remember. There's so many tornadoes, I can't remember which um, one's which. And they see you as one of their old partners rolls up with like like the, all these black vans, like they're oh, you yeah. know, <clears throat> the the bad guy sports yeah. team, the <laughs> dread, <laughs> the dread pirate Roberts, yeah, yeah Darth Vader, um, tornado chase. Yeah. Um, and it turns out like he has stolen like their their design, mm. and so Bill gets really pissed. Now he's like, "Fuck, fuck my wife, my my fiance. I'm <laughs> I'm making sure that this shit." Uh, is- it's he, done. He gives Carrie Elwes such a hat slap. Ugh. Yeah, I did think it was. I thought it was cool how like it presented the the bad guys as like they were all very uniform. They had like the same outfit and like four black minivans, mm-hmm. and then the other team was just like the the most random assortment of people. Bad news and it's just the, yeah. Yeah, it's, <laughs> bad news it's bears the Sandlot kids. kids. They all oh, up. They're bad guys because they have corporate sponsors. <laughs> well, <that laughs> want they're... them to measure tornadoes. Well, the, their being... first interaction is to run them off the road. Yeah. And then he stole, stole their ideas. So, yeah. yeah. They're funded by a big tornado. Plus that that, big tor- <laughs> that accent Cariel was yeah. just throwing around. Yeah, that was, as a southerner, <laughs> that was offensive. Oh, yeah, that was one thing to point out. So everyone in this movie, most people in this movie, have a kind of accent. I guess it time comes and goes, man. They also almost feel like they're ADR'd. I don't know if that was just me. Well, not everybody. Oh, yeah, Helen it, Hunt it, seemed mm. fine. But, like... I noticed that, too, a lot yeah, of Yeah, especially Bill Paxton. Like, you just... Yeah, it didn't sync up. Quite. Yeah, it well, Bill Paxton your... just had a, like a like a half second delay on his voice. He, yeah. was, he had a birth s- effect. Like, have <laughs> you seen? Like, it's the same in Aliens too. Is <laughs> yeah, he's got okay. that kind of half second delay. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, and it's, is that a thing you can do? No, that's not <laughs> this, this accent. These accents are just like, just like, just not. Mm. They're not correct. They're just, yeah. And they're not even necessary. Like, no one needs mm. to have an accent just because no, you're in Oklahoma, wait. the Midwest. It doesn't mean you have to have have a Southern accent. Like, also, I said this before, but like. Helen Hunt's the only person we're shown that grew up here. Right. And she's she the only one that doesn't have an right. accent. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need to have one. Yeah. You, know? you could be like, hey, Carrie Elways is a storm chaser, So he moved from England to come chase That would make right. him even more of like seem villainous. Like, yeah. you're not even I, well, from here, you fucking whoa, Brit. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Use the opinions of the... Get the Will fuck out of here. The <laughs> these, right. these colors don't run. Right. Don't tread on me. So that's right. That's why. <laughs> Punch your own goddamn story. So that was the first it. time they go to chase the tornado, and then, like, the to- <clears throat> it turns out it wasn't a, a proper sighting. So they all kind of stop at the same truck stop. Now 
the tornado is on. So they're like, all right, let's go. Let's, yeah. let's get it. Dusty, you can have my wife. I'm going yeah. with old wife. I present my wife to you. Yeah. And, <laughs> Pretty um, much. Yeah. <laughs> Dusty and Axe Prima Nocta. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm going to show you the you know suck what? zone. Yeah. The suck zone. Give you, God's finger finger. Finger. you know what? Yeah. yeah, honestly, better movie if at some point Bill Pax is like, dude, I can't keep making tornado. You got to make this happen on one of these runs, all right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, so it's like a Cyrano de Berger. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So um, they go after the tornado. And ultimately, you end up in this, like, the first bullshit scenario you have to accept <laughs> bullshit here. Bullshit scenario number one. Yeah, so worth, like, go ahead. I want to point out that they're, they're trying to make us feel like stuff's happening. Right. And the music is playing this, like, weird intense like mm. like like intense kind of kind of oh shit shit's about to, about to go down they're just driving on a road yeah. at a normal normal speed mm-hmm. next to a tornado like that's that's it like, like yeah. it's not even like dangerous they're just, they're just to, going. to give you the full feel here uh there seems to be a soundtrack to the movie playing with some kind of action-packed music but every one of these cars are listening to their own oh personal my God. soundtrack yeah, freaking scene yes. yeah i wrote down I feel like I'm going crazy, to which Brian immediately commented, they're just driving. What is with this music? <laughs> <laughs> like, I honestly thought I was about to lose my mind. <laughs> yeah, what was it? Was it uh, Flight of the Valkyries? Yeah, I think it was of Flight of the Valkyries. Another one had, like, Jimi Hendrix or something. They're singing yeah. Oklahoma. It was yeah. Like, yeah, Oklahoma. Was it, like, a Rush song going on, too? Or I, I don't even remember. I don't even was just the mm-hmm. score of the... Yeah, I couldn't tell, because yeah. there was, like, yeah. two... Like, and people are screaming and just, woo! And I'd, rather, I'd rather listen oh. to the camel sounds. <laughs> Well, it, it comes in a second. Yeah. Yeah, so there, there is one point in this movie where I was into what was going on with the music that I'll talk about later, but they ruin it very quickly. They're good at that. Yep. All right. So they go to this tornado and they're like, all right, let's get Dorothy out. Oh, there's no time to get it off the fucking truck. I wish we came up with a system that got it off. We <laughs> got to seek shelter. How about a ramp and some casters? Yeah. Um. So they seek shelter. And funnily enough, spoiler alert. The the whole trick to this is we need to leave it on the truck. <laughs> yeah, no, just, you can't get it off. Just fucking turn it on. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, not even that you can't get it off. But by the end, they realize it needs to be heavier, so they yeah. just leave it on the truck. So just leave it on the truck. So yeah, they what they get it off the truck and then it, like it falls over or something. I, I forget, but they they have to seek under uh, shelter under a bridge that has a tractor on it that they crash into in the yeah. truck. Well, that's right, yeah, that they hit with the truck. The tornado comes, picks up the truck, picks up the tractor, rips boards off of the bridge, but you don't see that when they're under it, like, the bridge is intact. So it rips boards off of a bridge somewhere. <laughs> but it can move two heavy-ass metal vehicles and rip this bridge apart. Yep. But not affect them. The bridge is only as wide as the tractor, so it's not yeah. even like like, like a, a, a giant, yeah, giant, you know, like road bridge. No, it's a it's a wooden bridge over a ditch. It's just gonna feel, like yeah, that. yeah. But in, Joe, in Oklahoma, they, they have they them. have uh, these like water ditches around most properties for irrigation, old school <clears throat> yeah, drainage. irrigation ditches, and keep out outsiders. Yeah, yeah, was, you know, <laughs> I got one in the <laughs> So yeah, it's literally just like it's just probably just for the farm, just yeah. to get that one tractor over it's the also irrigation. Full of hepatitis, ditch. apparently. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's definitely full of hepatitis, but you know. <clears throat> um, so yeah, you're just like, well, that was stupid. But now here's my thing. I'm like, oh, it picked up the machine. Cool. They got it done. That's what they yeah. want to have happen anyway. Wrong. So, dope. Wrong. Wrong. Apparently, they have to turn all, this, all these switches and shit on. You have to open the fucking top. You have to, <laughs> you have to wait a half hour for it to warm up or something. Yeah, it's some bullshit. Like, it's like the did, other team has to be set up. Like, Yeah, why did you camp? start that before you start chasing the fucking, fucking tornado? You can't even do that from inside the car. You need to be outside. Like, oh. Yeah, you start that first and then chase the tornado. And, uh, yeah. This is... And just know, because hopefully we can skip a lot of this, because this is just the scene <laughs> hopefully repeated. Hopefully we can skip a lot of this. Yeah, this is, well, this is the scene repeated for like three more times to get through this movie. They go to the Twister. They can't set this thing up in time for one reason or another. And they, they, they get there and they're just like, oh, we need to get this thing in the Twister. Oh, shit, there's a Twister. I didn't see that coming somehow when we're not prepared and it fucks everything up. And that's just it. They just, just go back and do it again. Yeah, they, they do, do that this like three times. Yeah, like mm-hmm. two more times. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm going to drive into that Twister. There's like, the oh, room. shit, that's Twister I'm driving into. What am I going to do? 
Like how? What, I, oh. There's like one with water, then there's one at the movie theater. Yeah. Oh, the water one is, is special. That one, that's the next one. Uh, uh, where are we, Joe? Like how, how? We're at the water one. Go. Yeah, we are. All right. <clears throat> so like the first one failed. The truck got picked up and whatever. So they collect all their all their 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 pieces again, <clears throat> and they put it on the red truck. Now they put it on his truck and they're driving. They're chasing this new twister. It goes over a river and it splits in half. Now there's two twisters and it's one twister coming at them. And like they hit this bridge and they're like, oh shit, we pro- we probably should have set the shit up already and gotten out of the way. <laughs> they probably should have thought about this like yeah. at all. So the twister goes over them, right? And like, but the, the each one is on, on each side of the truck. It like surrounds it. Like one's on one side, one's on the left side. And like they used to counteract each other. So the truck's just in the middle, just sitting there, not doing shit. And like it, 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 it dissipates. Like that was yeah. Like what you spun them around? What? Like what? Yeah. What, what the fuck? I was just That's not how they you. work. Yeah. Also, yeah. Um, there were cows being blown about. Uh, there were a ton of cows. There was a cowinado. It's at this point, I believe Brian said, uh, this is boring. Yes. And uh, I wrote down in my notes, I'm bored. Yep. Um, I wrote down nap time. <laughs> so you can imagine how we're all feeling right about now. Well, um, the movie's like, we need to take a break. Food time. We'll have every character just yell food at Helen Hunt. I respect that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they yeah. wanted meats and, and yeah. eggs and stuff, so I respect that. And this was, yeah, it's a good fat chat break. It's quite, quite the food. Yeah, that's good. So yeah, it did. we we meet Aunt Meg and we eat her. No, um, that yeah, we, uh-huh. yeah, well, we eat Aunt Meg. Tries to. We find out that that Bill Paxton's character is called the Extreme because one time he threw a bottle of scotch at a tornado, buck naked or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Also, nineteen ninety six. Yeah, no, the nineteen eighty six. That would that would be a little more fashionable, I would think. The I think he means saying calling oh, calling him the extreme is nineteen ninety six. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. And dr- driving drunk and throwing things yeah. at a twister naked. <laughs> well, that's, that is yeah. more of an eighty. That's every day. I mean, well, that's yeah. that's never going out of style. They I guess. put warnings out to not shoot your guns at hurricanes. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Like that's real. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So oh, then, yeah. also, quick side note: they have printed labels for this machine they just invented fuck's up with that hmm? oh like the logo you mean like the dorothy logo <laughs> not the dorothy logo because it's dorothy that, but like he when he's explaining it to jamie gertz he's like look the, all the little balls are in this twister and like it, it's got a little its own little sticker uh-huh. all, right. Mm-hmm. all right so um here's where we Things learn about other tony Don't the worry. vegeta scale and uh, i thought it was the vegeta scale <laughs> and um yeah you learn that you know you say f and then attach a number to it and like you know, F twos and F threes are what we've seen so far today. Uh, an F four, you know, could not destroy your house. Is there such thing as an F five? And everyone's suddenly like super silent. Like it's he who must not be. Yeah. Seriously, <laughs> that's what I wrote down. Voldemort? Yeah. Question mark. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so about, like it's this huge deal. And then yeah, um, they're like, well, only one of us has seen one of those, and it cuts to Helen Hunt in the shower. And like I still didn't get that she's a kid with me. <laughs> like, yeah. Even at this part, I still didn't get it. Like, That's okay because nothing is making sense or yeah, right. like leading anywhere. So. Which also I don't understand why this isn't just her mom. Hmm? Yeah. Oh, it's okay. Aunt Meg. But why isn't it just her mom? Her mom got like, sucked up by an F four twenty eight. Oh, when it came back, we didn't. Yeah, see sorry, that part. it came back for her mom. I forgot you, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I wish they had put that in the beginning. Like the yeah. father died, and then like the sky seemed clear, and she pokes her head out, and then it was, yeah. <laughs> just she's gone. And then an F three got the dog like two months later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, more tornadoes. So we gotta we gotta pack up and run. Um, I do like that Dusty gets like a big va- uh, doggy bag of steak and eggs. Yo, yeah, Aunt, Aunt Meg, she she did her thing. It was like fifteen of them. Yeah, she had enough meat and eggs to feed all of them, like no questions. Yeah, and she sent food with them. She was cooking for an army. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. I was like, Rob, who keeps that much food? He's like, it's Oklahoma, and I was yeah. like, <laughs> that's fair. She, she's, <laughs> well, I mean, they even said because they even said there were lines that we were not paying attention to, but they're like, where? How'd you get all this beef? And she's like, well, I I raised cows, I, my own. Cows and chickens and stuff. So uh, yeah. you got all this on hand, and you know, I was like, freezer oh, probably. I was just like, I don't want. Could you just put Why you all make- those mashed potatoes into some of that aluminum foil and just give me a football of mashed potatoes? Why don't you make that? I would love that. Fat chance, make a bunch of eggs and steak. Well, because not everybody steak. was gonna eat it. Yeah. And I didn't, well, Joe. I didn't want to Joe spend the entire. Potatoes? I didn't want to spend. I, yeah, the I will eat mashed potatoes all day. <laughs> yeah. So. I feel I need to clarify something. Uh, oh, I see where this is yes, I'm, go- I'm talking about the pierogies. Um, <laughs> oh no, not the pierogi so, incident. 
Sharon, I think I think we may have had a little snafu in communication here. Uh, for starters, pierogies are absolutely just raviolis with mashed potatoes in them. Uh, <laughs> but but that I absolutely adore. Like I will, I'll eat them raw. I don't care. I'll pierogi. I'll pierogi all day. I'll pierogi all night. Uh, most of the people at this table uh-huh. have seen me eat my body weight in mashed potatoes <laughs> and pasta, probably, at least once or twice, um, and combine those two things together and you've got yourself a good time. So, I just wanted to clarify my stance officially on pierogies, um, and now we can continue with this boring-ass movie. <laughs> well, just quickly, also, Sharon, we will put your money towards getting him Doritos so he will not make speeches like that again. Actually, screw Doritos. Just give me mashed potatoes and gravy, please. <laughs> All right. Or pierogies. Me... Yeah, or pierogies. You put it in like one of those the cake cake uh, decorator things. When they... Just Ooh. pour it in his mouth. <laughs> there you go. Just give me a hamster feeder. No, it's a gator, oh, but it's oh, the best one of the guys had the hamster feeder. He did. He had a he wine did. tit. Yeah, dusty. <laughs> dusty had a wine tit. Yeah, I got I got to commend him for that. That's good stuff. Um, all right. It's just so, this is bomb water he was drinking. Where I actually got caught up in the movie because they're they're going out. And I know nothing's going to happen with this, but like the music is doing a good build up where you got like the dun, 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 and then there's like a guy wailing on the guitar and like it sounds reasonably epic. Almost 18. Yeah. Yeah. And it's transitioning Mm -hmm. into the Van Halen song, Humans Being, um, where that's like the actual like main guitar riff. Um, And it does it fairly subtly. And then there's a point where he's just like, we're going off road and they turn off the road and the guitar starts pumping hard. And I'm like. I'm excited about what's happening now. And then they pull back onto a road and almost hit Jonas, the, the Carrie Always' character, and it's just back to just doing nothing. Just driving on a road yeah. doing nothing. And I'm like, well... Just making stink eyes back and forth. as excited as this movie's going to get me, and we're done now. Yep. Um, so yeah, we go, we lose Jonas, I guess, set up um, another Dorothy to growl. I mean, the tornado growls, mm-hmm. and fucking... Throws a, a telephone pole at it and knocks it over. He's like, get that shit out of here. I will not be measured. <laughs> and now, but this time, didn't they turn it on? Yeah, he, he did. Yeah, it, it was turned on. So I'm like, okay, got knocked over. All the balls fell out of the fucking thing. Yeah. Turbines to speed. The tur- it's going to pick them up. So you got what you wanted. It's in the tornado. Because like, it starts Van Halen. <laughs> 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 Let him have that one. Right. No. But, I'm, like, I'm like, what, you want these balls in the tornado? Now they are. So, boom. Yeah, Bill Paxton definitely wanted to put his balls in a tornado. In the sex zone. Right. <laughs> so, but, but you know what? Yeah, don't that tornado. That's gross. It's a tease. Yeah. It's just like, eh, you want some of this? I just witnessed two huh? overweight men. Drop a snack on the ground, both to be Cadbury, a little Cadbury cream mix, and deciding instead to reach in a bucket and produce a new one. <laughs> There's more on the table. Fat chap for life. <laughs> Don't judge me. Don't it, you judge me. It went under. I'm a not furniture. saying I'd bend over and pick it up either. <laughs> Listen, that's about the amount of effort that gets put into getting Dorothy into one yeah. of these friggin' tornadoes. I like that you. You inclined to maybe uh, maybe a seventy five degree angle. Oh, I wouldn't even go that far. Yeah, that was just like uh, no. I was honestly, do one. I thought it was like in my pants. They were the opposite. Of, <laughs> they were the opposite of Helen Hunt trying to collect those little balls off the ground. Yeah. Exactly. I'm Bill Paxton. Like, stop it. Give it up. Okay, it's, it's well, gone. So just forget it. Yeah, it's gone. A, stop living in the yeah, past. So she's trying to like gather them all in her jacket. <clears throat> maybe dump them all back in Dorothy. I don't know. Maybe she was just going to hold her jacket and run into the tornado. Now, mind you, there's like 300 of them. Her yeah. jacket was not fit- fitting them all. No. Like, she was just, whatever. So this dude's like, we got to go, but I'm going to give you the inspirational speech, the most generic, like, today we celebrate our independence, blah, 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 speech, um, which Melissa hears, Melissa being the fiance, hears through the CB radio. Who is pushing the button on the CB radio I don't to allow her know. to hear it? Dusty. No, but in, in the same person truck, would have to. The same yeah, person it was the tornado. The tornado was the trying tornado to tear was. them apart. Yeah. Okay. It's the same person that was pushing it when they're ar- in, the, in the first part of the movie where they're arguing in the car together. Yeah. And everyone in the other cars can hear it. You know how you fix that? Mm-hmm. Literally in one of the first scenes, if if one of them goes, this thing's busted, it always, it always, it always yep. does that. Yeah. Like, 
It's 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 a throwaway line, but yep. it, it, make, it sets this up. We're like, oh, exactly. I should have got the thing fixed. Like, so the tornado is like, you're trying to measure me. I'll undermine your marriage, and he finds it out. It was a character in the movie. Yeah. Like, measure this. He had, uh, had no face. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> we're about to really get into this, but <laughs> are we? At, at this point, I was I wanted to say this tornado. Is somehow the shark from Jaws 3, where it just for no apparent reason is hunting this family down? Like, you no mean one... the shark from Deep Blue Sea? Or that. <laughs> well, no, no, no. Those were. Wait. Jeez. Tornado no. warning. All right. Um, what do you think? That was like an F2, F3. Yeah. It was F3. I feel shame now. I feel like I need to go digging for that stupid candy. <laughs> no, it's, it's under the dresser. I know it is. I know. I know the candy. Fuck the candy. We're done. It for next Easter. No. Uh, Deep Blue <clears throat> Sea, the sharks were intentionally supposed to be smart. Okay. In Jaws 3, no one knows how it found this family. No one knows how it knows this family. But it tracked them to, like, Jamaica or something? I think Michael yeah. Caine paid them off. Whichever. But, Michael like, Caine? Feeding information. Yeah. This tornado yeah. is just Justin? like, right. hey, I Just killed your dad. I destroyed oh, your house. Where's the water park? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Jaws right. 3D. 3D. Totally gotcha. right. Because in this scene, she says... You've never seen one jump a house, yep. jump a house, and come right after you. <laughs> he's like, you think it's chasing you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which, well, here's the thing, though. You're like, are you nuts? You think it's chasing you? But soon after this, it comes back and it roars and says, I'm after you, bitch. <laughs> yeah. And then when it can't get her, it goes after her aunt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is out for her. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll kill your whole family. So now... Um, we cut to, uh, they all go to the drive-in, right? And uh, this movie makes the mistake of showing a better <coughs> movie during your movie. It's always a cinematic no-no. Yeah. So we're watching The Shining. You're like, I'd rather like, watch, yeah, rather man, watch I that. Be yeah. the Shining right At now. this point, the person I'm watching the movie with, we are both just talking about The Shining. <laughs> <laughs> not paying attention to what they're saying. Um, so, yeah. It's, it's funny because the way it cuts into it, I thought the movie, he, like, it was a bad copy of the movie. It was mm-hmm. over a different movie. Like, right. it, it it cut that sharply yeah. to a different yeah. movie. Um, yeah, so, for a brief moment, I was like, those look like the walls from the... Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, that carpet looks familiar. Oh, okay. Well, I was confused because it was like, the way it kind it of brought the it. frame... Yeah, like the picture into the frame, I was like, is something wrong with yeah. the, uh, the DVD that we watched of Twister? <laughs> totally legal, legal copy that we have. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot wrong with it, but it worked functionally just fine. Yeah. So... <laughs> So, um, tornado hits the drive-in, and um, they seek cover in like a Quonset hut. And this is halfway exciting, as exciting as movie action gets. You do forget the only reason I why mean, the shining was showing was so that when the tornado takes the screen, it's the here's Johnny, whatever. Yep. And that's that that scene. <laughs> yep. Imposes I'm onto the tornado. Yeah. Yeah. As but, it's breaking on the dirt, it was. Ugh. But the, it does win points because the tornado totally uh, does a commando and flings some. Uh, I mean, it's not it's not saw blades, but it's hubcaps, hubcaps, hubcaps. And, like discs, <laughs> like right tries, in the dude's forehead. Tries to predator this dude. <laughs> Well, like, it starts with, like, something hits whatever, and this hose is spraying everywhere, and everyone's like, we gotta shut that off. Like, fucking why? It's a tornado. Just fucking leave it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I, what? Well, I, th- I thought it was a gas or something that it was... I don't was know, but, gas? like, something like that, whipping around can hurt somebody. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, this... Yeah, hubcaps <laughs> being whipped around hurt somebody, too, though. Well, it hit him, happened. and he, he was the fine. Hubcaps, <laughs> was it just, he was fine. <laughs> was it just me, or the hubcaps, like, slow motion? Like, yeah, they it, definitely moved. It was like, CGI slow motion. Oh, yeah, it was... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And was anyone else really hoping they'd be like, no, he's fine, and then just have that moment before the half of his head just slides <laughs> off? <laughs> it would have yeah. Someone should have died at some point. Or someone. if he stood there, like, dumbfounded because he just got hit in the head, and he's like, I'm okay, and then, like, a metal pole or something yeah, that's, <laughs> flung into him. That's when that arrow yeah, comes through. The exactly. <laughs> neon arrow just arrow. smashes him. Yeah, that's right. It flings the drive-in sign right through the, uh, the Quonset yeah. hut. Again... All these useless extra characters are here. None of them die. We even have extras. Just people. Yeah, nameless just whatever. Nobody. Nobody dies. Yeah. So, I mean, this scene, and this is, mind you, as about as, as exciting as this film gets, points out the, the problem with disaster movies in general. It's like, you, you don't have any adversity. You just have people in danger. Like, in 
not even like you, you you don't even have characters you just have like survivors it's like there's no there's no story to this we're right. just sitting there yeah. watching people it's, it's not even a credible danger something. yeah because everything that happens in this movie is basically the byproduct of decisions made by yeah the main characters yeah. like mm-hmm. there's a tornado it's dangerous let's drive it's, into it for the most part stakeless danger yeah, yeah there's basically there's no <clears throat> uh problem that they need to yeah. solve here um all right so now like they come back out of the Quonset hut. Everything's destroyed. <coughs> They're like, oh, man, the tornado, the direction's heading. It's going to Wakita. It's going to get Aunt Meg. Um, we got to go there. And Melissa's like, yo, it's been fun. I'm out. And you're kind of like, good. Go, girl. Go yeah, back. Yeah, find a you. different man. Right. Like, yeah. you actually are the only person with common sense in this movie. Yeah. Yeah, she even says, like, I don't feel bad about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm totally yeah, fine. Like, like, I'm not even upset. You're supposed to kind of not like this character, but I'm like, no, she's well, fine. She's smart. Yeah. yeah, she's the smartest one. Yeah. The ones I don't like are Bill Paxton and Helen Hunt. Like, yeah. be an asshole. Selfish, yeah. selfish yeah. asshole. die together. All right. I hope. I wish. So... It's already here. Now we go... Um, His twister sense is tingling. <laughs> yeah, we go to Wakita, and uh, we go to Aunt Meg's house. And this scene is kind of cool in the sense that, you know, you're exploring a, a trashed house with, you know, like you got to climb up to the top floor to get in and mm-hmm. like, you know, climb down all these holes in the floor and whatnot. Um, that part's kind of cool, I guess. Yeah. But then it's it's that whole, like, oh, we got to stop this tornado before it kills again. How? It's a fucking tornado. How do you oh, stop one? When we measure it, man, it's going to be so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Aunt Meg actually says to her, like, they hear reports of another F5. And Aunt Meg actually says to her, you go stop that. And I was just like, you know that's not what they do, right? <laughs> I'm like... They're just gonna measure it. I only had three seconds to prepare. If I, I had I more know. time, it, it, yeah. it, it's been saying it's eight inches, and it realized it's like it's like three inches, and he's like, "Oh, I'm defeated." Like, oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or they're gonna fat shame it. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm just gonna go away now. We're just gonna put this around your waist, and oh, time for a diet. Like, oh, <laughs> been eating too many cows and tractors and stuff. Oh. So. Yeah, uh, like some eye doctor said, piece of '90s tech takes the uh, the whole house down when the yeah. uh, the old school big ass like tube TV um, <laughs> rips Wait. the cable jack out of the wall. Wait, Tony made the joke that it was a like load yeah, TV. yeah, a yeah. load, load bearing TV. Yeah, that just fucks the whole house up when that thing hits. Those suckers are heavy. Yeah, that could have killed her. Oh, yeah. yeah, no chance. Sure. Yeah, I was you know, also I want for free if you want one. It's <laughs> only a thirty inch. You can have it if you want it. Like, <laughs> bring your fork. Just, just come get it. Yeah. Right. right. You know, if most places actually it. charge you to take that crap. Yeah. Away, right? That's why he's doing this. Yeah. You can have it. But I was also saying it would be kind of funny if like they climbed in there and like caused some of this destruction. Like, Meg, are you okay? Like, I was fine till you knocked half the house on my legs. Yeah. <laughs> That's not that wrong. Like, yeah. <laughs> that could have happened. Like, all right, so now they're like, oh, it's I fun. have an idea. Um, we need to put little winglings on these sensors so they can fly into Tornado better. <laughs> Get your Pepsi sure. cans, everyone. Whatever. Again, what are we doing? <laughs> like, At least the, the supporting cast is doing something. They're attaching Pepsi cans <laughs> it's true. to Boy, little Pepsi. sensors. Remember, <laughs> movie brought to you by Pepsi. Yeah. No, but like, yeah, first of all, we're solving a problem that we didn't know we had. Because so far, the issue has been we can't get this damn thing in a tornado. It has right. nothing to do with whether or not right. the balls will fly. Because mm-hmm. the tornado presumably would yeah. just pick them regardless. So we didn't even know that was an issue. <laughs> Second of all, like, yeah, it's basic ergonomics. Why Why did you not think of this shit beforehand? Yeah. It, it, but it shouldn't matter because Tornado picks up cars well, and yes. houses. Yeah. It'll pick below a fucking ball. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. It doesn't fucking matter. In fact, yeah, I, I brought up earlier, but, like, the problem we find out is this canister that's holding them is too light. So the problem is not these things need to fly. It's we need to hold them down yeah. till they need to fly. Like that's it. But all I don't right, understand that as a problem. Let's get this going. So all right, <laughs> we're we're going into battle. We got we got Dorothy three. We got um we got to put it down. The uh, tornadoes like again like get that shit out of here. Um, knocks it over and throws a fuel truck at them. <laughs> um, which fucking explodes. Yeah, don't as don't it should it. twice actually. Yeah. Yep. Um, then, uh, they yeah, Jonah shows it. up and he's like, hey, um, I'm still in this movie. Remember me? You know, and he's like, I'm going to go measure the tornado. The tornado's like, nope. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Tornado fucking washes his uh, driver. Well, it's, it's funny because at this <laughs> point, Joe and Bill 
mm-hmm. are like Joe's like okay l- we'll let him have the win yeah we, we just want it measured we want we want the data yeah, bills yeah. to more people. so we want to save a lot we realize gonna, it's about saving lives yeah not so we're gonna call, call him and let him know hey just so you know like like it's uh you gotta make you gotta make anchor it down so it'll get sucked in there mm-hmm. and like yo just so you know it's headed towards you the way you where you are it's, it's gonna go over you get out of, get out of there just leave yeah. don't you know, be be smart leave the area and the driver of of of, of what's his name's car is like yeah they they sound like they're being sincere like like, yeah, like <laughs> Brian if I wanted your opinion I'd give it to you and that's what he says to him yep he's like spark and drive and he goes oh, okay boss. And God then, damn it. like a leaf in the wind, <laughs> <laughs> he gets a big or ass like, metal pylon. Yeah. Or like a into kid in Final Destination. Yeah, <laughs> we shove a pole through the air. And then it's like everything. Yeah, wh- why? Why even bother? Because the whole fucking truck lifts off the ground. <laughs> yeah, <Right>. explodes. Well, <laughs> right. You get a little CGI fart of an explosion <laughs> somewhere else. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> like but based also, one. This yeah. is again. This is continuing the thing from like Jurassic World, where it's like. Hey, here's a minor character that was kind of annoying. Let's give them the worst death we could think of. He wasn't even annoying. He was like, he's generally, he was genuinely kind of trying to yeah. help out. No. Um, are, you t- are you talking to the driver or the bad guy? I'm talking about Carrie Owens. <laughs> the driver, yeah, the driver. Oh, yeah, the driver yeah, didn't deserve it. Yeah, the driver didn't well, deserve yeah. it. But yeah. here's the, driver the thing, definitely though. Didn't, but- he could have at any point just said, no, this is dangerous and I don't want to die. So yeah. I'm going to actually turn the car over. You can drive the rest of the way if you want. Because that's what, you know, an adult would do that can make their own decisions. But he wouldn't just be like, you want me to keep driving into this horrible well, finger of I God? I mean, that is their Storm. job, though. So, I mean, mm. it's his boss. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Pay a henchman enough. He'll, he'll but it's also, this Steven is not Seagal. like, he doesn't care. you know. I hired you to be my assistant, and now I'm going to spring this on you. This is we're storm chasers. Yeah. This is what we do. Man up. Yeah, but if somebody's <laughs> saying like somebody that you know is not lying to you, you're well, like, also, you're going to die if you I do think this. You're wrong on that. I don't even think they say it's dangerous. Get out of there. I believe they're just telling them the trick is the things. No, need no, to be. no, no. They the do. They do warn them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then they're it, like, it's turning back around. Yeah. It's coming right for you. Oh, okay. Yeah. And he's like, I think we should listen to them. Mm. Yeah. And then he shuts off the Cariola shuts off the <laughs> communication. Yeah. Like, and then the tornado shuts off the driver. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. So the tornado's still coming after them now. now it's, it's out it's for killed. blood. It's, oh, yeah. 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 It's, it's, it's like, Joe, I haven't forgotten about you. <laughs> yeah, it's like, and they're like, well, our pickup truck's driving away real fast. He's like, all right, well, I'll pick up this tractor supply depot and throw the entire thing at you. One after the other, left, right, left, going down the road. And at no point they couldn't just put all those little balls in a trash bag and thrown it at the tornado. Like, then it literally throws a house at them. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. And they drive through the house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. No. And they go upstairs, but still end up coming out. I was the okay with I... this, just because it's funny to see a pickup truck drive through a house. It's oh, funny. Oh, I mean, but, I laugh every time I see I it. Mean... Yeah. I would prefer that it forced them to evade around something else, and they had to drive through the house. Like a grandma, like a grandma the in house the house? just went cartwheeling like a tumbleweed. <laughs> Across the ground. I thought it'd be funny if there's like a grandma in the house and they had yes. to Yes. Whoa. When they drive out, like she's in, in, the, in the back of the truck. Like, yeah. <laughs> you are in my lemon drink. Yeah. But yeah, they, earlier they couldn't get off a log, but suddenly they can drive through a house. Just yeah. Fine. Yep. Why not? Sure. All right. So now they're, uh, they're like, all right, check this. Let's just leave Dorothy on the truck and just, you know, fucking kamikaze that into the tornado. Yeah. Done. All right. Dorothy picks it up. It measures the tornado. Everyone celebrates. And in real life, this would be an amazing thing. But like in this context, this movie and what we've seen, we're just like, yay. Yes. You did the thing you wanted to do. Uh, you should have done oh, the first time. You yeah. know what I wish would have happened, though? Mm-hmm. Because early in the movie, she makes it a point to ask him if he has insurance for it for his nice truck, and he says just liability. And she was just liability. Ooh, if he was like, I only have liability. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, like oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> so that tornado was like, measure me. You're dead. <laughs> well, yeah, that's the other one. Like everyone's like celebrating. They're about to get down in this cornfield, and then it's like, oh wait, yeah, there's still a tornado. Like that's yeah. a thing. <laughs> like, oh, and here's the thing, Brian. The insurance away. was in his fiance's name. <laughs> she paid in that it. case she paid, she paid for it so yeah so 
They run into um, a barn to take shelter that is full of everything sharp. <laughs> and they're like, what's wrong with these people? Dude, it's a fucking farm. Yes, <laughs> we're cutting. They need that yeah, equipment to, li- to live. Yeah. Uh, this is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre it's, farm, right? It's the Gene that... residence. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like then... a belt made of nipples in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> you get a great shot where they are running through a field of sunflowers that are completely still and oh duck God. the combine harvester which is airborne <laughs> <laughs> but them sunflowers those are tough motherfuckers they well listen they, they always face the sun no matter yeah no what. matter what no, <laughs> f5 tornado be damned <laughs> oh really, god <laughs> well, this part sucks they're a tough army <laughs> it's so bad. they only follow whatever the rules of uh yeah. lc does they could have left yeah. this part out you left the whole oh, rest gosh. of the movie out after the, the thing i sucked up in there like, yeah they should have yeah um and like, you know, even if it was just a close call where the tornado's coming at them, they have nowhere to go. And like, right when they think it's about to hit them, it just dies out. And, you or know, no, they're just, like, cool, we got the data. They Yay, start running, went. they got the things in there, they start running away from it, somebody picks them up so they can actually get mm-hmm. away from this. And then it's like, oh, okay, we can track it now, so we know where not to be. Fucking done. Yeah, that would be a good one. Yeah, they're yeah. like, head this other way. Yeah, this or, is like this is what it was all about, right? Or yeah. they could actually get into a storm shelter to kind of recreate the beginning yeah. of the movie, mm. but instead, uh, Bill Paxton doesn't hold Do the door stupid? like a dumbass yeah. and they just hide in the corner until he holds it her instead of the door yeah, yeah exactly yeah <laughs> well he, he gets some some belts yeah and instead them to some yeah pipes. we're gonna double down on this stupidity yeah. Yeah. <laughs> instead they go to a shed it's, it's a, 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 water. a a water pump shed i yeah. guess is it even is it like an outhouse with plumbing it, it, it's look like like uh the, they control the, the irrigation, irrigation for, yeah for the probably, property yeah. yeah i don't know why this is a separate house but it's just it's got pipes going in the ground mm-hmm. Apparently, to the core of the center of the earth, <laughs> but where the core is happening. Mm-hmm. So they uh, they take the belts off and they tie it around themselves. And the first, those were machine belts. Oh, sorry, yeah, machine, yeah, not yeah, all neither of them. I think belts. were wearing sorry. belts this whole time. Yeah. Um, they tie it around themselves and this pipe, and then the tornado goes over this little shed. Wait, if they were machine belts, then they probably weren't even leather. They were probably rubber. I don't know. It just <laughs> it not... rips the house apart. I mean, to pieces. Yeah. And this is them holding on by these belts, sucked up in the middle of a tornado, which, whatever. They're, they're like, she's looking up it. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's an upskirt for a tornado. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh. Because tornado is like, I remember you. Come on. They come see with inside me. Inside the suck zone. Yeah. They do see inside the suck zone. She gets to yeah. see the eye of the storm again. Yep. And then her, her it's dad, done. Her yeah. dad's face shows up, gives her a wink. Yeah. <laughs> knew it. You knew you had it in you, kid. <laughs> the tornado's like, you see me, you know me. You see my downstairs mix up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old Greg. I'm out of here. Yeah. I'll get you next time, Gadget. Next time. <laughs> and everyone shows up and they're all like, yay. And then Joe and Bill make out and everyone's like, yay. yay. Wouldn't it be funny if it started raining, raining balls on them? Yeah. <laughs> 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 The they just canister. got cut to pieces by all the little aluminum can <laughs> straps on those things. <laughs> That's the thing we were mentioning. Like, even if we're going to believe these belts held to these pipes, mm-hmm. they would have just been sacks of meat. Like, they they wouldn't have yeah. limbs anymore. They, like, they certainly wouldn't be wearing anymore. clothes when yeah, this yeah, was done. Yeah, it would just yeah. be, like, destroyed. Yeah, it- um, Hubcap guy gets, like, his eyes ripped out by the little ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and that's that's Twister. That's Ooh. it. Yeah. All right, guys. So, what do we know about Twister via Rotten Tomatoes? Thank you for that. Uh, so, yeah, RottenTomatoes.com. Cricks gave this a whopping score of 57%. Ooh. Audience gave this a score of 58%. Okay. <laughs> Either um, way, it's an F. Yeah. <clears throat> that's still, that's pretty generous, though, compared to what I thought it would get. Right. Uh, honestly, came, I thought that was lower than... When it came out, do you guys remember what the thoughts were? Like... I it was don't kind of pan about that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's most people are like, you know, this is kind of. Some people are like, it's a cool spectacle, but most people are like the story's dumb. Gotcha. We uh, made two hundred something million dollars, right? Well, yeah. yeah. Well, this is also, you know, we weren't quite at the point where you could just go online and find out it's a piece of shit till you went and saw it in the theater. So, <laughs> <True>. well, <Wow. laughs> going by that, Brian, what did you think of Twister? Uh, fuck the movie. Okay. Um, <laughs> like it's it just doesn't make any sense. Like the disaster movies. Are ones where it should be where the disaster just puts people in the situation, and then the story is the people in the situation, not like the actual disaster, because it's just a mm. it, like it's like um zombie movies like like the 
it's not about the zombies, it's about how people react to the zombies, whatever. Like it's and this is like literally it's about the tornado and it, it's dumb. It's just it's just dumb. It's just dumb. Like so I would not, not re- recommend this movie. <laughs> All right, Will, uh, how about you? Yeah, pretty similar thoughts to Brian. Um, like I've said multiple times, this is one of those movies that's fun to watch with friends when you're like giving it a hard time and able to talk over it and make fun of it. Because if you're just watching it by yourself at night, like, what the fuck are you doing with your life? <laughs> Sorry to anyone who loves this movie. Sorry to the patron who sponsored it, but I have a feeling she knew we were going to oh, shit, shit on it. forward to hear yeah. shit, yeah. Apart, so. <laughs> shit on it. Um, yeah, there's lots of different disaster hey. movies, like even... We talked about Independence Day has that same vibe where you really uh, are more interested in Will Smith and all the other cool characters versus the uh, alien invasion um, with much better CGI that I think holds up a little bit better. Um, Don't recommend. Probably agree with the critics and the the audience fails. All right, Tony. Yeah, I mean... This movie is oddly watchable uh, for me. Like it's the kind of thing, like a good sick day movie or something, because you could put it on and not pay much like attention. Like a hangover, yeah, like a good hangover movie or something. Um, yeah, if you and if you have friends, not even with friends, it's not good enough for that. It's just too boring. Yeah, it just it's got an amazing cast, but again, just ultimately, it's just not that all that interesting. So I can't really recommend you go out and see it. Uh, if you like this movie from back whenever, just keep it in that nostalgia closet and don't. Worry revisit it if you find it on tbs someday and you're sick or hungover fine but otherwise just leave it alone how about you joe i hate this movie <laughs> um <laughs> not through the movie itself is pretty harmless it's dumb <clears throat> and it's boring but it's not really like compared to some of the stuff we watched like tony said it's totally watchable it's not insulting yeah but i hate what it represents in it was one of those harbingers to a genre of movies that I do not like. Um, and it, it both ushered in the disaster movie, which I don't like, and just the, the sheer laziness of writing and, you know, the amount of schlock that was foisted on us for many years after this summer that like, it took a long time to recover from. Um, and so it's, it always sits wrong with me for a lot of things that it doesn't fully deserve, but just for being one of the first ones, it's kind of like, you know, how the Met- the matrix hasn't aged well. Cause you saw like how it damaged action cinema for a long time afterwards, where what you thought was cool, maybe that first time is now like that everyone's doing it. It sucks. Yeah, cliche. Yeah. So, um, that's how I feel about this movie. Um, and yeah, because of of like what it represented and what followed it. Like I don't when someone mentioned Twister, I'm like, oh god, that movie sucks. But <laughs> it's really it's not it's not that bad of a movie. But it just it has a lot of negative feelings attached to it uh, for me. Yeah, that's fair. Um, <clears throat> I found this movie boring, like real boring. Oh, yeah. Um, and uh, it had a problem that I find is a problem that a lot of Michael Crichton stuff has mm-hmm. is that it just it just crawled up its own butt and just just hung out there like so much of the dialogue of this film is just them talking like techie tornado crap and it's just not interesting as somebody that's does that's not into that kind of field Mm -hmm. and the action scenes are not exciting uh they spend so much time chasing what looks like the same tornado over and over again there is no danger there is no danger there's no stakes and the effects do not hold up well at all. Um, and yeah, I just like I said, I was I was just bored watching this. I was just like ready for it to be over. So, hmm. I just <clears throat> this is the problem we have sometimes with the, like you need to have some suspension of disbelief with things because like this is like you were saying it, it's very real in some of those facts. If this is, I'm sure how some storm chasers are. Sure. But it's just not interesting to watch. Yeah. Right, so. but like there's no stakes. So yeah. And yeah, uh, and um, also like Brian yeah. said, there's no enemy, there's nothing to actually really resolve or someone yeah. to some stop or help. I'll give you a good example of one that, that works. Like so for like like um Jurassic uh, World was a good one uh, where it's like a, a lot of your arguments with that movie about things that are bad, you can be like, yeah, but at the end, the T-Rex fights the Indominus Rex and it's one of the greatest things ever. Like this movie, there's no payoff. So all those times you have to suspend your disbelief and just be like, all right, well, 
hold out for something cool. There's nothing cool. Yeah. Oh like, yeah. No, I'm talking more just a general like why things tend to be a bit crazier. Oh, yeah. this still is because we have like 20 tornadoes in a day. But like mm-hmm. it is a thing of we usually don't do things super realistic because realist real life is mm. usually fucking boring. And the writing wasn't good enough to like make you care about the characters yeah. despite right. the yeah. boring plot. Yeah, like if you are an inspiring storm chaser like mm-hmm. our patron might be or might have been in it or whatever or if you are currently a storm chaser maybe this is extra interesting to you mm-hmm. but for the layman it's just dull as dirt well i mean for a storm chaser it would be like a good what not to do kind yes. of lesson like because real tornadoes will kill your ass <laughs> no just just remember mm-hmm. you know tally's friend belty <laughs> just always have a belt <laughs> I would have accepted two variations of this movie. Um, some sort of Wes Anderson-like character study, sort of like The Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou, except it's about tornado hunters. I'm liking oh, yeah. this. Yeah, that could be and kind of fun. And with that crew, we could do that. Yeah, I haven't seen totally. the movie. Is it stop uh, motion? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, with weird stop motion tornadoes. <laughs> um, but- or if you're going to go stupid, go stupid where you have something like a guy who steals things like before they're about to be swept away by a tornado. So like, you know, no one's going to miss them or something. Danny McBride. Actually, and then, uh, me and Will were discussing this earlier. It's a little movie called Hurricane Heist. Yeah. Yeah. And then like a cop that has to have like Smokey and the Bandit style chases with him. And you have badass car chases around tornadoes. Yeah. That could be fun. Jo- th- this kind of played out like. Like a Discovery Channel documentary on tornado yeah, yeah. chasers, where it's just like, here, watch these guys. Oh, no. Chase- Did your battery die? Yeah. Oh, man. It's just like, watch these guys chase a tornado. By the way, Joe. Three times. Uh, a pitch for your movie here. Yeah. To improve this that I brought up while watching this. The tornado played and voiced by Gary Busey. Yeah. All right. we'll take it. Let's All make right. it happen. We'll get behind that. Just yeah. give him like a big cotton ball outfit that you could spin around. And- yeah. Oh, yeah, just him can... twirling in the field. Yeah. Maybe. I'm coming for you. He, he played a dog in Quigley, so let's make this happen. So, uh, so that's unanimous. We all loved it, eh? Yeah. Um, yeah, that's it. So that's a failing grade. Um, we don't recommend this movie. I'm sorry, Sharon. But thanks um, for your money. What? Yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, what would we recommend? If- Sharknado first. <laughs> Boom. Wow. All right. uh, I recommend you listen to our episode on Independence Day. It's better than watching Independence Day. You got a good Joe freak out in that one, if I remember. <laughs> Probably. I, I believe so. I get those pretty often. <laughs> I had, no, but I think I had like a Mugatu moment where I was like, I feel like I'm taking crazy pills here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What else we got, Joe? Uh, Brian? Um, I believe next week we're doing another sponsored episode. That is correct. So next week, uh, longtime listener William has uh, uh, well, finally uh, what? gone ahead and done his hashtag selling out. Uh, and for those of you who don't know, if you buy a t-shirt from us from our Teespring page, which is that shirt. www.teespring.com slash 4 podcast. You can also link to our store through our website as well. But if you buy a t-shirt and then tweet us with the hashtag selling out, you can sponsor an episode as well. So he sent in and said his grandpa is a huge fan of Elvira's large personality. Yep. (laughs) So uh, he's a big fan of Elvira. So we are going to be watching Elvira, Mistress Mistress of the Dark. Dark. All right. So that should be a great time. Uh, But in the meantime, we want to thank you so very much for listening. We want to especially thank Sharon for sponsoring this episode Yay, Sharon. Uh, we hope Ooh, you enjoyed it you. Yeah, Sharon. And, uh, Sharon. of course if you liked what you heard <laughs> please consider subscribing if you'd also like to become a patron you can check us out at patreon.com slash 4am podcast you can also uh, just donate to us at I think PayPal is our usual, uh, usual spot and all of that stuff can be found at 4ampodcast.podbean.com and of course, check out our Teespring page, which is linked through there as well, for all kinds of cool t shirts and other merch. But that's about it, guys. Anything else? That's it. Uh-huh. Did this movie suck or blow? It was in the suck zone. Yeah, the centrifugal force of suck. suck. Yeah. It sucked the energy right out of me. Thank all right, well, God. deuces. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. On that note, all right, adios. guys. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time. Bye Good for now. Good night, everybody. Bye.